Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so True Blood, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So all the different characters, you know, he was really he was really using the supernatural world to explore um what different, you know, how different communities were, you know, the prejudice that exists among different communities and how they handle that and different responses and things. Um, so I thought it was so clever and he's such genius. Um, so I was beyond thrilled to get cast. And sort of my my first day on set, you know, people are coming up and the cast are amazing. People are introducing themselves and I'm literally in my head doing that fangirl thing of like, I know who you are, you're amazing, you know? Um, and then of course I had to, you know, rise up out of a, what was going to be a CGI pool of blood, but it was really just a stage in the middle of a really large set with lots and lots of people. Um, and obviously I was uh, unclothed for my very first scene. But afterwards, the, the cast were like, welcome to True Blood. Like once you've done your first nude scene, like you're you're in, you're part of the community. Sidebar, I have never been on a show or, or any production where the um, crafty was so healthy like normally crafty like the snacks and things like that that they get you know that they have laid out for the cast and crew and things yeah they usually full of lots of really yummy things you know slightly decadent yummy warm cookies and stuff uh -uh, on true blood everything was like sashimi and green things and sliced fruit and you know gluten-free because everyone was like we never know when our next nude scene is coming so yeah so that was pretty funny great interesting sushi, though. Interesting. I didn't think about that, but you're right. They probably were like, this is just because we do so many nude scenes. This is the way to. It's one way to stay motivated, right? The healthiest craft services ever. True blood. True blood. Yep. Thank you very much. <laughs> what about what was it like being in an Usher video? Oh, wow. You're really going back. I I'm like, dig listen, this is like we like we like to do a little bit of pop culture research here. Okay, I love it. I love the research. Thank you. Um, that was great. You know, it was uh, pretty intense. I think we filmed it over two days, but it was sort of one of those sort of 18 hour days followed by another 18 hour day. Um, yeah, I was honestly, I was really nervous before that project because um, I was like, I don't know what kind of video they want to be in. And I, you know, I kind of called my agent and I was like, they're, you know, am I, do I have to shape my booty kind of thing? Cause I'm not very good at that. You know, <laughs> it's not where my skill set lays. And, and they were very much like, no, it's going to tell a story and all of that. And it really did. I thought that, I thought that it was beautiful. And uh, I really did have to dive into that pool. I actually had to dive into the pool uh probably about 15 times it was the middle of the night it's cgi corrected i don't even know how they did it because it's blue skies and everything in the video it was the middle of the night it was freezing you know like how la is sometimes really cold out of nowhere i think and it's like right now like you're right now. you're missing i mean i don't know how long you've been in florida but you're missing like it's freezing in la right now yeah, you've had like that crazy storm and yeah. So when LA is cold, it's really cold because the houses are the houses are built to live in while it's boiling hot. So all of a sudden everyone's like shaking. Um so it was freezing cold, it was raining and it was the middle of the night and we had to keep having me dive into the pool, not because they weren't getting the shot, but because the bikini they had me in, I kept flying out of it as I as I landed after the dive, like the impact of the water would just like take my top off, which, you know, if it was true blood, no problem. But if it's a, a an Usher music video with a very loving, sad song, it kind of wasn't appropriate. Um, and then the fire over that, that's real fire. They had these people with like, they kind of looked like leaf blowers, but like flames came out of them. And then under the water, there were health and safety people in diving equipment, I guess, for insurance, just in case things go wrong. So it looks like this really simple, beautiful, clean shot. And in reality, like there's just people everywhere. And I would dive in, my top would fly off, and then I would get out and they would rush me into like a warming tent, which they kind of build these little you know, cubbies where they had heaters blasting and I would stand in there and defrost and then go and do it all again. So it was, it was, it was a very good intro into the reality of film and TV, right? Because you're creating magic, but behind the scenes are just so 
so many people each bringing the expertise to make this thing happen, to bring it into reality. So it was, it was a really cool, interesting experience. Oh, and we, we shot it in the, the pool scene is in Frank Sinatra's old house. Oh, up wow. in the hills. Yeah. So that was very cool as well. It was like house goals. Are you the type that gets starstruck? Like, have you ever met someone or you just do not really get starstruck? I mean, you said on True Blood, I guess you did a little bit, but like, do you, and is there someone that if you met them, you would just be like, oh my God. Um, well, I met Viola Davis very, very briefly and that I truly fangirled, truly, truly. Well, I try to fangirl internally, right? Because people, especially people at that level, they don't want to listen to that crap. Um, but I, but I was very much like, I really love your work. I think you're amazing. You know, I was, I was kind of like that. Um, and I stand by that. Like she is a phenom and so inspiring. And she is, she's definitely one of my acting motivations, but also I, I just love how she conducts herself and she, you know, she really speaks her truth and what it is to uh, work in this industry, what it is to be a woman, what it is to be a dark skinned black woman. And, you know, I've been very vocal about equal pay and all of that. And I just have so much respect for that because the industry, you know, it's always, you have to work really hard against the, well, when am I going to get another job? And this is the last job I'll ever have and, and all of that, you know? And from from speaking with, with actors that are sort of higher up on the totem pole, apparently that doesn't really change. Um, so I just always have so much admiration um, for women like that. Oh, and Cicely Tyson. I met Cicely Tyson backstage. And we went to see a trip to Bountiful. Um, because we were friends with Journey Thullet and uh, uh, Dalila as well. And fantastic production. But yeah, we got to meet Cicely Tyson backstage and that I really, really fangirled. And she was so interesting because she sort of comes in and she's in this like denim jumpsuit and this like cap and, you know, is just uh, this tiny, physically tiny person and just like this phenomenal energy. She's already been on stage for like two and a half hours. Um, and her thing was like, she didn't like people taking photos of her, like anyone that asked for a photo, which I didn't, I don't do that. Um, she would actually take the camera and then take photos of them because she said she wanted them to, to remember the experience and how they particularly felt, you know, after the, after the play um, versus a picture of her. You know, and I thought that was such an interesting approach because one, it gives you a privacy, but two, like she was really, uh, trying to get people to think differently about celebrity and all of that, I think. So she was an icon and uh, yes, definitely fangirled there. That is interesting. So like she didn't be in the picture, but she took your camera and took the picture of you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So people got all of these amazing shots and like, and different people were, you know, you meet each other, right? So you're, you're all there. For different um I was lucky enough to be backstage you're, you know you're all there because you know somebody involved in the production um so she was kind of recording the vibes essentially recording that unique experience because